Hey guys, it's Leticia, the Crafty Curator. I'm kind of just jumping into this video today. I literally just decided to hurry up and do a video um, about 10 minutes ago. And the reason being, um, I'm off today. I'm off to Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. Happy Valentine's Day! Woo um, so I'm off today, and I'm off tomorrow for President's Day. And I promised myself that this weekend I would do a video, um, but I have a terrible habit of procrastinating, and next thing you know, it's time to go to work, and there's no video for yet another week. Um, but the main reason I wanted to get a video out now is because um, my Chatelaine is up in my rotation, so um, I want to do the Chatelaine video um, next week. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get something off my screen. I want to get the Chatelaine video up next week um, and I don't want to have to do them back to back sorry about that I was trying to get something off my screen um, and I don't want to have to do them back to back so I'm recording this now um, this video is going to be a whip update along with a haul update um, now I'm going to follow suit with Jesse and Katie um, who have recently started saving their haul until last so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna start off with my whips um, and then I'm going to go into the haul which is probably going to be the bulk of this video um, I'm not sure what happened I did so well the end of last year I was really focused and really disciplined um, and I didn't do a whole lot of buying I think the only thing I bought in um, the last quarter of 2015 the last quarter jobs on the brain um, in the last few months of 2015 was the angel of love um, I think I don't know most of the haul I showed in my last video I've accumulated over months since the end of the summer into the fall um, but I really hadn't done much shopping and then 2016 hit um, and I, I don't know what happened um, I want to say that it was probably emotional binge buying because that's as I look at it it's all beside me right now I have no other reason I, I don't know what I've done but anyway um, I'll share what I got because we all enjoy seeing what everybody bought um, the good news is I helped somebody else and took haul off their hands um, so that's something I don't know why I just said that that means nothing it just means that I bought something from somebody else anyway scratch that you know I don't edit so that's gonna be in there anyway um, so here we go so since my last video I didn't watch um, sorry I didn't watch my last video before recording this so I'm probably going to show you a couple of whips that I haven't worked on since um, that I might have shown you in my last video that I haven't worked on since because somehow a new start snuck in and not a planned new start an unplanned new start snuck in so it really jacked up my rotation um, and then I was really into Desiderata I'm loving that piece um, so I worked on that for a couple of weeks rather than just one week and so my whole rotation is jacked up or whatever so let's just jump in if I've shown it to you and there's been no progress that's okay right so I'm sorry for the lighting in here it's really dark right now um, and my lighting is very dim in this room but I didn't want to turn on my hot light because then it's blinding and you can't see anything so we're gonna make the best of it okay okay so forgive all the wrinkles forgive me um, but this is my update on my Raven Queen um, I think I think there has been progress on this since we last spoke so you know I've named my you know maybe you don't but I've named the new the two crows that are in the video the one that is sitting in the palm of her hand is called crow that's his name even though it's a raven whatever I named him crow and the one that's flying away is craven so if you're a Game of Thrones fans you know craven is a coward a cowardly raven so to speak and since he's flying away from whatever I don't know I named him craven and the crow that's standing the raven that's standing still his name is crow so crow and craven crow is complete craven is almost complete I got some more of the background castle completed um, 
so yeah, there's some progress on that, I think, since the last time we, talk, we talked. So that's the Raven Queen. I've also come to the conclusion. Um, the Raven Queen, I jumped on the bandwagon with this because she was so different. She was so goth looking. Um, plus there's ravens in it. You know, I'm a Balt Baltimore girl. Baltimore Ravens. It kind of had to be done, right? And it's cross stitch. It had to be done. So anyway, I jumped on the the Raven Queen. Queen I can't talk. The Raven Queen bandwagon. And now I'm realizing I'm not into her anymore. You know, it's kind of like I'm stitching it and I'm saying to her, I'm just not that into you, and it's okay. Um, but I'm gonna finish her. But. Yeah, I have other ones I want to do, and I'm excited to do them, but I'm going to finish up first. Um, I've also decided, I think in my last video, I made this crazy town announcement that I was going to stitch a Chatelaine at the beginning of the year, every single year, forever, and I don't know what I was thinking. That crazy town talk. Um, I'm not going to stitch a Chatelaine every year, but I am going to try to... Um, I am going to try to stitch more Chatelaines. I'm working on this one. Um, I received a beautiful rack, random act of kindness from somebody that I'm going to talk about later. Um, and hopefully that is over here in the pile. Um, so I'm definitely, because of that, I know I'm definitely going to do the Japanese Zen Garden next. And I'm assuming that will be next year. But anyway, back to the Mirabilia. I have decided I'm going to stitch my way through because I've collected so many Mirabilia somehow. I, I went from having like three patterns to I don't know how many I have now. But I've decided because of what I love doing with Josephine. You know, I made her into um, an Afri African American woman. I think I'm going to create a series of multicultural Mirabilias. Um, if anybody follows the Evergreen Needle, Kelly she is making my Mirabilia dream come true because I've always wanted to see an Egyptian Mirabilia. And she's taking at the Met and transforming her into this beautiful Egyptian queen. And so far, it is amazing to watch her dresses of uh, different shades of white and cream. And she changed all the colors of her sash. But she said when she saw her, when she saw at the, the, at the Met, um, woman she instantly saw an Egyptian woman and of course now I can't unsee it that's exactly what she is um, so she's transforming her excuse me into an Egyptian woman and I absolutely cannot wait to see what she does with it um, but I'm loving all of the changes that are being made to the Mirabilias but personally I enjoyed um, transforming my Mirabilia because my muse was Josephine Baker um, slash Dorothy Dandridge but I look at some of these um, Mirabilias, like the Willow Queen. I definitely want to make her into an American Indian um, woman. I'm just going to create a multicultural Mirabilia village. I don't know. But anyway, that's, that's what I want to do. So those are some of my stitching plans. And these are plans that pop in and out of my head. So um, just like from one video to the next, something may change the next time I record. I don't know. But right now, um, that's what I want to do. Still not sure what I'm going to do with the Raven Queen. I'm really not sure. Part of me wants to make her Asian. I'm kind of digging that. I think I want to make her into an Asian woman. Not sure why. Um, but anyway, um, that's enough about that because I'm rambling. So yeah, I'm not a fan of the, the Raven Queen as much as I once was, but I'm going to get through it. Um, and I think it's not necessarily that I don't like her anymore, but that I'm so attracted to the other Mirabilias that I have. Um, I never knew I would become such a Mirabilia fan. I, I had no idea this would happen to me. Um, but yeah, it's happened. So the next whip... Well, I haven't gotten much done at all on this. This is the Clouds Factory Postcards from the World Stitch Along. And I had to say that slowly because I think for the longest time I was calling it Passports of the World. I was getting it confused with what's going on with the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, which I'm not participating in, but I'm loving seeing everybody else's progress. So this is Postcards from the World. Um, I can't see what I'm showing you. So as you can see... The first one is Venice, 
and I have named him Pepe. And the next one, I've gotten the frame done and the tippy top of the Eiffel Tower. So obviously, this is Paris. Um, the Eiffel Tower was originally designed to be different shades of white, peach, and pink. And I think, and I might be making this up, but I think that the Eiffel Tower lights up at night. Am I making that up? And it's different colors. It's like white, peach, and pink. I don't know. Um, I might be completely making that up for some, for some reason. I'm thinking that's what happens when it's lit up at night. Maybe somebody can tell me. But I didn't like that idea, so I am going to make it black. Um, and this is all that I've done so far. So there's really nothing to see here um, other than the beautiful Australian magnet that Carolyn made for me. Hi, Carolyn. There you go. So that's my progress on that. Hopefully I will get that stitched up um, before March comes out. But I'm so into... Oh, gosh. Deseterata. I, I got just sucked into that. I can't stop. Well, I have stopped because now I'm working on my shadow line. So that's that. Um, Rafiki. I don't think there's been much of an update since with Rafiki. Or has there? Uh, maybe there has. Not much, but a little. So here's what happened with Rafiki. I decided um, that I was going to introduce the Katie method into my stitching um, and I was going to add an hour a day of stitching time to Rafiki that did not happen um, I think it happened for one day maybe two um, because I was so anxious to get into his body um, and get out of the greenery so here's what happened with that so as you can see I have a little bit more above of his beard before it was just his shoulder but I decided that I didn't want to get into I didn't want to do any more of the green I'm almost finished that page there at the bottom but I wanted to spend those extra hours getting into the body of Rafiki um, so it's a little bit more of his beard in his shoulder um, and that's it so after my Chatelaine which I think I'm either going to spend a week or two weeks on. I'm not sure yet. After that, Rafiki will come back into play. Um, and I'm going to finish up that page of green. And then I'm going to dive into his body. And that didn't come out right, but you know what I meant. Um, I'm going to start stitching more of his body. And I might spend two weeks on Rafiki. Because, you know, with school kick, school's back in session. So between that... And working full time, it seems like in a week I'm not able to get as much progress as I would like to. Um, so I don't know. I've been kind of doing two weeks at a time. But anyway, it's not a race, right? So this is a new whip. Um, this happened by accident. Happy accident. I was on one, two, three stitch. And I saw this pattern, and she reminded me, if anybody's seen the movie Mahogany with um, Diana Ross, she reminded me so much of Tracy from Mahogany. This is Seduction by Lenart. Going to try to get that glare off of it. I mean, look at her. She is clutching her invisible pearls. She is too cool for school. She is wondering why people are looking at her. And she's just looking away like stop looking at me do not even talk to me I mean she's just a diva a diva I mean the detail look at her face she is just over it clutching her pearls she is just over it and the funny thing about this with all of this detail in her wrap in her robe and her dress there is not a lot of confetti in this there is not a lot of confetti in this at all how do I know because I started it already so first of all, it comes with this huge, this is a kit. I haven't purchased a kit in I don't know how long, but this is a kit and it comes with this huge piece of 30 count linen. So there's my start. Can you see that? This is a needle minder made by the lovely Emily. 
that's my start. It's not much. But anyway, there is the needle minder made by the lovely Emily. She did a giveaway on Instagram. And I think she was asking people to guess what she had what she was starting. And there were a couple of um I had no idea what it was until somebody guessed. I think it was Stitchy Mom, Kristen. Hey, Kristen. Um, I think she's the one that guessed a mermaid, and then I remembered Mermaid's Folly. Um, and I knew that she was stitching that, and that's when I guessed it, and I won the giveaway. So she sent me some <clears throat> needle minders, and I asked her um, to split my winnings with Stitchy Mom with Kristen, because if it weren't for her hint, I wouldn't, her hint, I wouldn't have remembered um, trying to make some, make a spot here so I can put that away later. I wouldn't have remembered that it was Mermaid Folly, so I asked her to share that with her winnings, my winnings, what I'm trying to say, with Kristen, but that was one of the needle minders she sent me. She sent me a bunch of them. I'm going to show them in a few minutes. Um, so that's that. So next up is Desiderata, and let me tell you, this has been getting a lot of love. It's on my Millennium frame. You know how I'm watching all these videos and people are making these fancy schmancy um, covers for their scroll frames? And I am so lazy. I don't feel like getting my sewing machine out of the garage. I just don't feel like it. And setting it up, I, I want no parts of it. I, I don't know. Um, so I use a pillowcase. That's my fancy schmancy squirrel frame holder an old pillowcase but anyway this is Desiderata and she's not in focus there she is so I can't get there we go this is Desiderata this is if you don't know this is a gift for my husband for Father's Day um, I have asked him not to watch my videos because I talk about it so if by chance you're watching you've just ruined the surprise so you need to act surprised okay but anyway um, this is to Sidorata. this is a poem that he absolutely loves and this is an out-of-print pattern by Indigo Rose called the Desiderata Sampler um, so I'm going to start here because it's a bunch of specialty stitches and I really want you to see them and appreciate them so this is the G for the first letter of the poem. It's a huge G. Um, the blue is in satin stitch. The oh, Karen Water Lilies Peacock Diamonds that are going around are in satin stitch as well. The gold border is the rice stitch. And the rosebuds are the queen stitch, um, which I have determined that I am not a fan of, but I'll follow directions and do what I'm told. I'm not a fan. Don't like the queen stitch, but they came out okay, I guess. If you can see that. And then we go into the flowers here. The flowers, stems, and leaves are a mixture of the rice stitches and the satin stitches. Um, then we have just some back stitching there and cross stitches on the roses. Here we have the beginning of an acorn, which is just cross stitches, I believe. It yeah, just cross stitches and back stitching. And then we go into the words. So that's the Desiderata sampler so far. And I am absolutely loving it. This is done completely in, oh, I'm going to butcher the name because I don't speak French. Soie d'Alger, d'Alger, I don't know, the Soie d'Alger silks, um, except for the gold that you saw. And the reason why... I didn't get that is because it was out of stock on the Nordic Needles website um, and I was so excited to start it 
and unfortunately that was the, one of the first colors so I used the DMC alternative for that one so all of that except for the DMC portion is still stitched in one strand of silk um, on 32 count Lugana and that's what the instructions call for if you're using silks use one strand if you're using DMC you should use two strands unless otherwise instructed so that's why the gold border looks a little bit thicker in the rice stitches than the rice stitches in the green leaves which I'm kind of digging I like that it pops out so that's that um, I am also um, I think I'm going to do the same thing that her name left me and I love her Mackenzie Mackenzie the lovely array Mackenzie has decided that she is going to give back to the community by giving away her hard copy patterns that she has completed um, and I thought that was such a great idea um, so I'm going to do the same thing when I'm done with a pattern that's a hard copy like a Mirabilia or Desiderata um, especially because it's out of print I'm going to give it back to the community um, and do a giveaway now because there is one other stitcher who has was desperately looking for Desiderata. She loves Desiderata. She has it up on her office wall at work. Um, I'm talking about candy. Um, I promised Desiderata to her. So I'm going to give that to her when I'm done with it. Um, and she actually said that she's going to pay it forward and give it to somebody else when she's done with it. So um, we made a, she made a little joke saying it was going to be like the travel, the sisterhood of the traveling pattern. And I thought that was cute. Um, so Desiderata is going to already go to a good home. So I'm not doing a giveaway for that. Um, but I love the idea of giving it away because it's out of print um, and I just love the I know she'll stitch it and I know she'll love it so I'm more than happy to um, pass that on to her um, so I'm going to do the same thing so as I finish with my hard copies I'll do a giveaway for them as well um, but I'm not doing that with PDFs same thing Mackenzie's doing so I thought it was a great idea so here's what's on the frames right now I'm working on my Chatelaine now when I last posted the picture um, since I posted the picture on Instagram and what you call it Facebook I've done this section here some down here a little more of the gold um, but that's where I am with this right now hopefully you can see this clearly so I'm going to stitch halfway on this for another couple of weeks and then I will do my Chatelaine experience update video and I am so tickled that people are loving the Chatelaine experience tickled I love it I love that people are into it um, so I'm definitely going to keep doing that the only um, downside to what I'm doing is the frequency of the videos because I only do the video after my after I'm done with my rotation now one thing that Orietta did ask me to do was to go through the pattern because that is something um, that she thought has difficulty reading so I'm not going to show the pattern per se but I am going to explain how I interpret the pattern because I think that's one of the most intimidating things about Chatelaine is just understanding the pattern because it is very different it's not your your normal cross stitch pattern it's, it has a series of steps it has directions that you have to follow um, some of them seem a little repetitive when you go because it's uh, sectioned into different parts um, and then you'll go from part two to part three and you'll see parts of part two showing up in part three it's a lot um, so as I fumble my way through it gracefully or not I'm going to share my experience um, I was stitching it from beginning to end and hopefully that will help somebody else to want to either continue to do theirs or help them to want to start one or to start the one that they have that they're afraid of like I was um, so those are all my whips those are all my whips so now we go into the stash um, we are about 25 minutes in and I'm telling right now the stash it's it's a little crazy and I know it um, but like I said, I think I just, it was the beginning of the year and I was just, I don't know, I saw stuff and I bought it and I want it. But um, I think every time I do this, every time I go on this, this binge, so to speak, 
I asked myself the question, am I am I even going to like be here long enough to stitch all this stuff? I don't know. But I don't want to, I'm turning into one of those people that just hoards stash just so it's mine and I have it. And I don't want to be that person, but I think that's who I'm becoming and it's okay. Um, so anyway, if you're not interested in seeing the haul, I thank you for watching this month, this month, this month, mm -hmm. this much, but the rest is going to be haul. So thank you for watching. And if you don't want to stick around, that's okay. So first, I don't even know where to start. There's so much crap. There's it's not crap, but it's there's so much. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Oh gosh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is another one of the needle minders that Emily gave me, or that I won in her giveaway. It's a little pumpkin. And she makes these needle wonders. Um, so I wanted to show that one because I'm getting ready to show the other ones that I won. Um, so in addition to the one that was on Tracy, the lady from Mahogany, and the pumpkin that I just showed you, I also won this. I think this is a Monet. Isn't that a Monet? The Water Lilies Monet? Something like that. I believe it's a Monet painting, but I don't remember the name of it. Garden Lilies? I don't know. And then this one, the star. Yep. Beautiful work, Miss Emily. Thank you. So, there's that. Also mentioning, um, I mentioned the Evergreen Needle Kelly earlier. If you watch her videos, you know that she um, purchased off of eBay a Mirabilia that is out of print. Um, and she ended up with two of them, I believe. So she kind of put it out there. She wasn't sure what she was going to do with the second one. But she said, if anybody's interested, let me know. Um, even though it wasn't guaranteeing that, that's, that she was going to... Um, let go of the second one but she did I did let her know that I was very interested in it because I've always loved um, the, the Villa Mirabilia I'm sorry for the glare I've always loved this one because of the dress alone I just love it so um, I purchased it from her for the same price that she paid for it um, basically just gave her her money back and this was the one that was um, when it was sent to her it was already open and in, in, in the little sleeve which is fine with me because it's, it's out of print it wasn't a ridiculous price and um, I've always loved it but now I have it so thank you Kelly um, all right so here we go I don't know what came over me, but I kind of went on a bit of a book binge. So, these first three books were not... I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm going to go through them in a, se in a separate video, because everybody's not into the um, book reviews. Two of them I'm not going to go through because they were already um, reviewed by two other stitchers that did a great job. This one is the one that Mackenzie's dad got her for Christmas or her mom got her for Christmas and I loved it because of the peacock feathers here and because of this nasty little bug. And Well, there's a lot more things in here that I really loved. She did a great review of it. Um, so I'm not going to go through it. If you want to see what's inside the book, watch Mackenzie's video. She did a great job reviewing it. Um, but yeah, this is in my life now. So is this Kohler Design. Why is this Blair? Kohler Design Studio. So cool. Some of the patterns in the back. So cool. I will definitely do a review on that. This is the Ultimate Cross Stitch Projects book. Here's some of the patterns in the back. 
and I will definitely go through that one. These next four books, oh, I'm so excited about these. Why you ask? Because they were a dollar ninety-four. Three of them were a dollar ninety-four. One was two dollars and ninety-nine cents, and they are all Miss Jane Nelly May Mayhew. So I am beside myself. The first one is The Water's Edge in Cross Dutch. And this is designed by Jane Nutley Mayhew and Nikki Wheeler. I will definitely go through that. This is Cats of the World in Cross Stitch. Look at that tiger. Wow. Mm. That tiger is everything. Um, Blimey Cat, Brittany did an excellent review of this book. But I may go through this one again. I may go through that too. I don't know why. But she did an excellent review of that book. Um, but I just love some of the patterns, so I want to go through it again. This is a little different for Jane Nettley Mayhew. Cross Stitch Flowers. I thought that was kind of cool. And finally, Jane Nettley Mayhew and Nikki Wheeler again doing animals in cross stitch. Really cool. Now, how did I get these for $1.94, you ask? If you ever go on Amazon, and you know how you see the new and used books starting at like $0.99, cents, whatever the case may be, that's what these were. So normally I look for Prime, um, Amazon Prime products. Um, but this time I saw these books were like $1.94. Three of them were $1.94, um, plus like $2 shipping and handling. And the fourth one was $2.99 with like $2 shipping and handling. And I got these books in like two weeks. They shipped from the UK. Where? I don't know. But they're in great condition. I mean, the most you'll see is like, like that little wrinkle on the dust cover right there. But the pages are in great condition. And one of them actually has... Um, I've never seen it before. I've heard people talk about it. One of them actually has hand charted designs and you can see where they're charted by hand and colored in like with a colored pencil I thought that was so cool um because I've never seen it before but anyway you know these books go for like 20 some bucks a piece um and the community has sparked this love interest um this love interest that I have with Jane Nutley Mayhew's work. I think it started with Carolyn and Jesse, and now I have five Jane Nutley Mayhew books. So, yeah, so in my haul, um, I have three, po three books that I paid, I think, regular price for. Well, they were discounted because they were on Amazon, but I definitely pay didn't pay two bucks for them. Um, and then the other ones I paid like $1.94 for, so that was a great deal. I don't even know what's in here. Um, so, all right. So this is kind of funny. You know you've gone too far when you buy a 2016 cross stitch calendar. You can stitch your way through the year. So that happened. But I love the designs that are in here. This was from 123 Stitch. And it's a real calendar. But you can, it comes, like the first part of it is the calendar, and then the back are designs from Just Cross Stitch. Um, so these are in Just Cross, Cross Stitch magazines from different years, I believe. Or maybe they were all from, it's quite possible they were from the months in which the books came, the magazines came out but these don't come out monthly do they? I don't know. So anyway here's January. Little red work chickens. I know the bearded stitcher is into chickens. So there you go. That's January. February is a little bit of red work. A little red work heart there. Oh, I'm off. Okay little red work heart there and then love 
on plastic canvas. March. It's a cute Easter basket. April. It's a set of coasters. We have a flower and a butterfly. A zebra print with a butterfly. A ladybug on a flower. And a ladybug on stripes. So that's April. May, I definitely want to do. Why? Because it's a peacock. Peacock eyeglass case, no less. Love it. Love a peacock. And this is a blue and white teapot. What month are we in? We're in June, my birth month. I love that. It's like that Delft blue style. I love that. That's also what's on the cover. July, we have um, some fireworks. It looks like it's a card or a tag. Or it could be a card, but I don't. August is an argyle tray. Thought that was really cool. And it gives you directions on how to finish all of these. This is a candle band to go for September. And it's owls, my spirit animal. Hmm. That was different. October, Halloween. It's a beautiful evening for trick or treating. Beautiful. The ghost boot. Thanksgiving. Pumpkins, sunflower, little fruit basket. It's kind of nice. And then December are some tea towels with Christmas ornaments on them. And then the rest of this, like right here, that's all the patterns. So that was fun. This one, I was inspired. I don't know her name. She's somebody on Instagram. But I keep watching her um, posts. And I love this pattern, this pattern that she's doing. Of course, Peacocks. It's the Peacock Sampler. By Lila Studio. Mm -hmm. Peacock Sampler. Monochromatic design, but I just love that. And this design is stitched on 40 count linen. I don't know if that's what I'll do. Um, but I did um, purchase water lilies, Karen water you can't see that. Karen water lilies, um, of course, in the peacock colorway because what other colorway should I use? Can you see that? Probably not. <laughs> it's like blues and it's really pretty. Take my word for it. Um, so this is Peacock Colorway, which is also used in the Desiderata sampler. So anything left over I can use on this. And I'll be sure to have enough. And then finally in this particular package, I purchased my first Alessandra Adelaide. Um, squado, squ mm -hmm. Italian, forgive me, Ori Orietta. Um, Squado al futuro. And it's that eye. Oh, how I love that eye. Um, so that's that. It's back in here. In the envelope. show you that these I got 
maybe the beginning of January, second week of January, I'm not sure. But what I thought I purchased was Quaker Genetics. That's what I was thinking of that um, Tracy had. But this is the pattern that I wanted. For some reason, I was thinking that's what she had. That's what I'm trying to say. This is the pattern that I like, that I wanted, and I thought she also had it, but she had Quaker Genetics. But I got the Quaker Geometrics. How cool is that? Love me, Amanda. And then, because I've become a Long Dog Sampler fan, why not have the 10th anniversary edition with four patterns in one? Mm -hmm. So that's the first one. It's like, oh, there you go. So that's four patterns in one, and that is the foursome reel um, by Long Dog Samplers. Love Long Dog Samplers. Um, let's see. Okay. This I'm excited about. Couldn't resist. Couldn't resist. I know everybody's getting this one, and I absolutely cannot blame them. Boom. The Gypsy Queen. The Gypsy Queen. And of course, her name is going to be Esmeralda. The Gypsy Queen. I love her. She makes me so happy with that colorful dress. I think that might have made it worse. It just turned on my light. I'm not going to show you all the fixins, but I got all the fixins. Well, maybe I will. Well, I'll just do this. I got all the fixins with the water lilies. That's Caracom, am I saying that wrong? Caracom, African Sunset, and Antique Rose. And I got the beads and stuff, but I've decided to stitch her on Cyprium on Belfast Linen. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but this is 32 count Belfast Linen. You're not going to be able to see it at all. And Cyprium. Kind of reminds me of gingerbread, but um, not. Has some more greens and stuff strewn through it. Ugh. I should become one of those people that like takes a proper picture and then inserts it here, but I'm I'm not there. Um, because you didn't get a good idea of what that fabric looks like, but trust me when I say it's lovely. That was Cyprium. Buy a picture of this plus, maybe? Um, I think we're coming to the end of the road here, guys. And actually... This isn't the right one. This is a bunch of um, 28 count Lugana that I purchased that I probably showed in my last video. It's just in um, tea dyed mushroom color. So there's nothing to show there. Um, also, I had a 50% off coupon. And I was in Joann's. So I bought the cutest little sewing basket ever known to man. It is absolutely fabulous. And it holds all my junk. It's got this cute little tray. Holds my contraption for my Thread Heaven. And then they had Thread Heaven. I don't know what... Um, Joanne's was thinking, but they had thread, thread Heaven on clarets for 97 cents. I bought them all. All of them. Then I got this cute little tape measure with sewing machines on it. 
Because why not? It has sewing machines and scissors and dress forms on it and thread. And it's a little tape measure. Nothing fancy there. So it comes with this cute little tray that comes out. And then you have all of this space in the bottom to hold stuff. To hold stuff. Oh, look at that. Like, my fabrics by LJ. My first fabrics by LJ purchase. Um, I purchased linen, 40 count linen. What's the color? Grape. Grape lines. Looks like it's, I don't know what that looks like. It's called grape lines. Um, it's very true about what they say about the smell. It's divine. It's absolutely divine. And he really does a fantastic job dyeing. So I purchased this. This is grape lines. Hmm. Trying desperately. How cool is that? Grape lines. Not to be confused with blurred lines, but they are kind of blurred lines. But anyway, so that was my first purchase um, from Lucas, who is the owner and operator of Fabrics by LJ very good experience. I paid my invoice and I got it like two days later. So it was a very good experience. Um, I have been, he posts his stuff, his products, I believe on Sundays on, on his Facebook group. And <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. You have to be pretty quick to get his, um, fabrics that he has posted. What he posts is what he has on hand, so you don't have to wait for it to be dyed or um, manufactured, which is pretty cool. Um, because you order the fabric, you have it two days later, which I think is pretty awesome. Especially if you know what you're using it for and you want to get started quickly, you don't have to wait to get it. Um, so I went on there last Sunday, last Sunday evening and I learned very quickly if you're interested in buying fabrics by LJ do not wait until Sunday evening I think he starts to post around 12 noon um, and people are like vultures they buy it so quickly so yes last week when I logged on absolutely nothing today I logged on and I was still late it was like 1230 when I remembered so I went on there to see what he had and like everything he purchased was just sold out he died like 63 pieces and they were awesome and beautiful and they went like wildfire wildfire um however he did have a giveaway going on where if you guessed the name uh there were two pieces that were died that were died that were named after a band a local band maybe maybe they aren't local but the band's name was nickel creek and i honestly never heard of nickel creek but Nickel Creek sounded like a band's name. The first one, I, th I think, I guess, was Dark Hearts. Um, and I got that wrong. But then I guessed Nickel Creek, and I put band name on both of them in my comments. Um, and he was giving away two $10 gift certificates to the person that named, that found the two pieces of fabric that were named after a band. And I won both gift certificates. So I'm excited. Um... So there'll be more fabric by LJ coming my way. So that's exciting. Um, but yeah, I think I showed you everything that I received this month. I did get my fabric of the month from Leslie. Um, I got my fabric of the month from Leslie, but... I don't have it over here. It's the NYX colorway where it's like a bluish gray. Um, I think Garrett showed his. A couple of people have showed it. Um, so that's okay if I don't show it. Um, but I received that. And it's beautiful. And that's it. Except for one last thing. If you watch Teresa's video, um, Teresa Little Stitcher, she was talking about these mag eyes that she purchased. And how they instantly became her favorite 
cross stitching tool I must say I approve that message this is like the best thing ever you put it on you can see right over it so I can watch TV I can talk to people but when I'm stitching OMG it makes 40 count look like 40 count linen look like like plastic canvas it's just so perfect it's so perfect and they're super lightweight super lightweight they don't even I mean like half a pound if that if that they're just the best thing ever and this little piece right here comes out um, so you can enter you can change it to either the number two resolution which this is or the number four so it comes with two different magnifying glasses in resolutions two and four or you can get the one with resolutions five and seven but to I'm gonna take this off while I'm talking to you because it's crazy um, but Teresa said the ones for five and seven are if you're like a jeweler or or in some type of profession where you need to see things really really magnified like that I've tried both the two and the four um, and they both work perfectly I personally just like she said am perfectly happy with the number two um, best things ever so that's that for now I'm going to clean this mess up before anybody sees what I've done because it's a mess now I'm gonna clean this mess up um, I may or may not do my book review today I might do it tomorrow I don't know we'll see um, but either way if you stuck around for the whole 51 minutes thanks for sticking by standing by Maybe you're stitching along while you're watching this. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, but I'm going to leave it off for now. The next one will either be my book review or um, I may end up posting, not may, but I will end up posting um, a video for Colleen. Hi, Colleen, if you're watching, I haven't forgotten about you. She asked me to um, record a video of me reading Desiderata. So one of those two will be up next. And then either next week or the following week, my Shadowland Experience Part three I think I think it's part three will be up so once I finish um, stitching on that I will post that all right so thanks for watching hope everybody's having a beautiful stitchy day and a beautiful Valentine's Day and if you don't have anybody to love make sure you love yourself all right and I'll talk to you soon bye